Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be tackling my nails. So I used the Kiki London, um, it was this one, I used this build up, easy build up gel to just use over my natural nails last time. But if you look at the grow out, there is quite a lot there, so I need to do an infill. Um, so I'm going to file off this design. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to file back to make sure that I get rid of any lifting, to be honest. There isn't really, there's tiny, tiny little bits here and there, but that's it. It's This product has really lasted a long time. This is about three weeks, maybe four weeks since I did them. And so I'm really impressed with it. So I am going to infill with the same colour um, and then, but we'll do a bit of a, a different design over the top. So I'm not going to file on camera. I will do that off camera and then I'll come back to you when I'm ready to um, start the infill. Okay, so I've left the other hand, but I have um, shaped this hand. I've filed all the other gel off and there is just like um, a thin layer of that gel on. So I've gone with this shape, this sort of almond shape, which is really weird uh, for me. <laughs> I've never had this shape nails before, but I just thought I'd try it while they were short. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in with the primer first and then... I'm going to use this rubber base coat, which is 06. So I'm only going to be using a very thin coat of that. It's this lovely pink colour. And then, yeah, I'm just going to do an infill with the, the Sweet Rose. So because I've already got sort of the foundation there and the eye short nails, I don't need to really build them up that much. So I am going to do that now and then I will come back. So the first thing that I'm doing is just making sure that there isn't any more dust on those nails. So I have just gone over where that grow out is and just buff that very lightly. And then I'm going to go in with the primer. And this is an air drying primer, it's a non-acid primer. You don't need much of this, you just need a little bit. So then after that, I do put a rubber base on and this is a coloured rubber base at 06 because you do need a base coat just to make sure that you're adhering the build-up gel to your natural nail or to the gel that's already there, the existing gel that I filed earlier. So I'm just putting a very thin coat of that on all the nails and I'm scrubbing it into the nail and the existing gel just so that it's it's going to make a really sticky surface for the build-up gel. So when that is on all of the nails, that gets cured for 60 seconds. Okay, so that base coat's been cured now, and as you can see, there's not much colour there at all. It just gives you a tiny little bit. You can see on the thumb here, there is still a little bit of colour, but that is from the previous Sweet Rose. So it must have been a little bit thicker in that area. So now I'm going to go in with the Sweet Rose, and I'm going to put a slip layer on all of the nails, and then I'm going to put another bead on them. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to hold my finger upside down just to help the gel flow a little bit before I put it in the lamp and this gets cured for 60 seconds. So we've already got our base coat on and this gel is going to stick to that. I'm just painting it on just like gel polish and I'm leaving that wet and that will become my slip layer. So I'm just going to use the stripe liner brush just to make sure I get into all those little gaps on the side. So now I've just got a bit more of the product and I'm just going to put that over that slip layer while it's still wet. Starting in the cuticle area 
and then I'm just going to nudge it up a little bit up towards that cuticle but not touching it Then I keep contact with the gel and I just float it from side to side all the way down the nail and by holding your finger downwards like this it helps it to flow in the right direction and then I'm just going to use that detailer brush again and then I'm just going around the outside again making sure that there is gel there but it's not too thick And I'm just going to hold my nail upside down like this just for a few seconds and then that'll just help it to flow and give it a nicer shape. And yeah, I'm happy with that now. So that's going to get cured for 60 seconds. So now I'm just going to repeat the process with all the rest of the nails. So after they've all been cured for 60 seconds, I'll then off camera, I will wipe them with alcohol to get the dispersion layer off because you do get a sticky layer on the top when you've cured it. And then I will file if I need to file. So if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and then hit on the bell and YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. So if anyone watched my last video, I was talking about the weather and saying how glorious it was and how lovely and sunny it was. Um, so maybe it's my fault um, that the weather's turned and now we've got rain again. <laughs> so yeah, typical UK, we've had about a week of sun, uh, not even that actually. And then now we're back to cold and rain. I've got my cardigan on again. So that just, that just says it all, doesn't it really? Okay, so here they are all done and I didn't need to file them. I just needed to give them a buff. I just filed around the outside just to crispen up the shape, but I really didn't need to actually file them like on top of the surface at all. So next I'm going to be using these Platinum Flakes by Kiki London and these are a gorgeous pink colour. I absolutely love these and haven't used them yet. So I wanted to use them with this Platinum Modern Barbie colour because I thought they were very similar. I know that the flakes, um, the foil flakes are lighter in colour but I just thought that they would go um, with this set if I put them together and I absolutely love this Modern Barbie so I'm always looking for an excuse to use this because I absolutely love it. So it has got a sort of dark pink base with loads of like glittery foil bits um, and the pink but there's also silver bits in there as well so yeah I love this gel polish. Okay so I'm going in now with the base coat and this is from the HEMA free range so they do have some um, base coats, top coats and some of the gel polishes are HEMA free so if you are allergic um, then this is something that you might want to try and see if it works for you. So links to everything that I've used today will be in the description box as usual. If you want um, a discount at Kiki London, you can get a discount using my code, which is at the top of the screen, and it'll also be in the description box. So I'm putting the base coat on all of the nails that haven't got the gel polish on, and I'm going to cure that because that's what I'm going to stick the flakes into. So they do come off, they're quite staticky when they stick to the... Um, 
the applicator and the pieces that were quite big so I did put some of them onto the lid of the pot and just break them up a little bit because I wanted some big bits but some little bits as well. So I'm mainly focusing on the tips of the nails so I'm putting most of the flakes there and then I just want to sort of dab them on and um, this first nail is in real time um, so I'm being quite careful where I dab them on. I don't want to rub them into the nail because that makes it more like a chrome look um, if you use these with no white top coat instead of the base coat that I did, you can actually rub them into the nail and they will make it look like a, like a chrome nail. So you can do that, but for this set, I wanted to see the flakes all separate. So I'm just dabbing them on where I want them, just sort of from... I wanted them on three quarters of the nail, so I'm keeping the cuticle area like free of flakes. So I'm just doing exactly the same on the middle finger and the pointer finger. And then off camera, I'm doing the same on the other hand as well. So this is how they look when I've put all the flakes on and then I do need to top coat them. Now what I did do is I was going to use the clear build up gel over the top um, but because I wanted these nails to stay quite thin because um, they're quite short I didn't want them really building up a lot so I just decided to put a base coat on off camera and then I'm going in with the no wipe top coat. And that was enough really because the, the foil flakes, if you do press them on properly, then they don't really stick up much from the nail. So you don't really need to encapsulate them in a gel. You can just use top coat, but I wanted the base coat first and then the top coat just to get give them a bit of a, a bit more coverage. I would have used the rubber top coat, but I've not got that one. So this is the method that I used. And this is when they're all finished. So I'm really surprised at how much I love this set and the shape of these nails. I've never had sort of almond shaped nails before. And um, yeah, it is a bit, it is a bit strange. Um, but yeah, I really love the way they look. Uh, what do you think? Do you like this shape nails? But yeah, I love the way that that modern Barbie goes against sort of those flakes. I know the different colours, but I just love the reflection of the flakes as well. They're so shiny. So that is it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.